Bath, a competition where your peers attempt stand-up comedy, and Gail Porter, broadcaster and presenter. When something happens and everyone around the table laughs or you say, said something, it's Rate quite it funny. Down. It looks terrible and it looks egotistical. It looks like I just said something amusing <laughs> and now I shall record it in front of everyone. But for the next few days, you're going to have to do it. The other day, there was a woman came on news on the TV and she looked funny. And all my friends were around, oh, look at the state of her on the news. And then she proceeded to describe something which had really tragic had happened to her. So I go, look at the state of that woman's hair. And she went, I lost my whole family. And everyone in the room stopped laughing. <laughs> You've just mocked the teeth. Why was she Scottish? <laughs> yes. <laughs> is it possible to regulate the sex trade? For a lot of people, it is a moral issue. I don't want to take the moral stance. I would just want to find out where everything's going wrong. Gail Porter takes a journey to find out whether Britain has it right when it comes to the oldest profession. Prostitution is very damaging for women. My life could have ended in that car park there. How is she ever going to recover from that? This documentary is one of the hardest things I've ever done. Gail Porter on Prostitution, Monday 13th of September, only on Current TV. I was too shy a lot of the time, and they'd say things like, oh, I'll meet you behind the shed later on. I was going, no way, <laughs> don't know what happens behind that shed, I might get pregnant or anything, I don't know. Because one of the boys in my class told me that if you got sperm on your tights, <laughs> you could get pregnant. <laughs> so I was like, whoa, stay away from my hosiery. <laughs> Hiya, I'm here in sunny Glasgow, and we're going to do something with this area of garden here. So I've got to look for someone called a gorilla gardener. You proud of yourself? Yeah. <laughs> and I am one of the guest presenters on the Dell Taxi Tour in partnership with PC World and this is your chance to become a star of the Dell Taxi Quiz. Hello, hello, hello. What have we here? Said Munch. He would shout, Avast! Avast me hearties! I've just remembered. I was at Munchgrass Farm earlier this... <laughs> Hi kids, I'm Munch. Time for some munch bunch. <laughs> yeah, all the years that you've worked in television done stuff, she's more proud of me being a cow than anything else. We're going to three balls each and okay. then let's see who can um, manage to all get right, the bottle okay. off Callum's head. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> no! <laughs> yeah! Honey has been saying to me recently that she's really looking forward to me getting my hair back so she can play with it. She was two when I had hair. And she'll never remember, so she's going to grow up not knowing. She's never going to know me with hair. That's an upsetting thought, really. More music than you can shake a stick at. It's still number one. It's Top of the Pops. <laughs> So you love the band, seen them live, they're amazing. Is it, is, it, is it cynical? It's not cynical, I think it's great fun. I've had enough of this. Every, you know, it used to be, I used to do Top of the Pops, I used to love all the excitement of what's going to be number one. Now, like you say, the past four years, you think like X Factor, X Factor, X. This is a bit of fun. Yeah. This feels a bit naughty and wrong, yeah, yeah, which yeah. I like. Yeah. It's that time of year again. It's looking a lot like Halloween. Spirits and spooks everywhere, and I can feel their energy. He's trying to convince me, but. I'm not so sure. Gil and I are looking for celebrities that are no longer alive. Are you Elvis Presley? But not yet gone. And I have got a lot of questions. Oh my gosh, what was that noise? What was that noise? And I have a good idea on how to get the answers. Join Ghost Hunters Gail Porter and Chris Fleming for celebrity adventures in the afterlife. Dead famous. Tuesdays at 10 on the Biography Channel. On the next Dead Famous. He lived fast and he died young. The legend of James Dean lives on 50 years later. But is his spirit still around? Well, our search supplies some surprising results. He died instantly. The death anniversary of James Dean. Dead Famous, Tuesday at 10, only on the Biography Channel.